Have you ever heard of Rossland? Oh, what? How about Red Mountain? Oh yeah, dude. If you haven't heard of Red Mountain, then thank God you're watching this video because it's absolutely phenomenal. Red Mountain's located in Rossland, BC, and uh, the entire town of Rossland lives and breathes pow skiing. Um, I'm not sure you'll come by another mountain with vibes and community as good um, as Red. It's, it's the kind of place you can find powder stash four days after snowfall, or the kind of place you can show up alone and you know be finishing your day with four um, new ski friends. And it's the kind of place you can sleep in and still have the best powder afternoon um, of your entire life and it's all pretty bananas because it all comes packaged in a small old school ski and snowboard vibe that you just can't get anywhere else. So if you couldn't tell, I, I like Red Mountain um, a little bit. Red Mountain's an undercover heavy hitter and uh, boasts 3,850 skiable acres, which is massive and it has about a 900 meter uh, vertical drop, 119 marked runs over five different peaks. But uh, what makes red even cooler, in my opinion, other than the you know, snowfall that constantly seems to be maxing out, is that you can ski 360 degrees off two of the peaks from the chairs and just like find an unlimited amount of pillows, stashes, cliffs, and amazing tree lines to just play on. So at Red Mountain, there's a total of seven lifts, but the majority of your time is going to be spent um, on the mother load chair and the gray mountain chair. Red gets about 760 centimeters a year. It's pretty damn solid. And the average temp is minus four. When I was there, I was a bit, it was a bit colder, making the snow just that much more perfect. But minus four, like minus eight is like a nice sweet spot um, in terms of just like ski temperature. Like, you know, when you get in the minus 15s, things start to get chilly. So I think that's like a nice um, temperature. And you're getting a lot of cloud, you're getting a lot of snow and like, you know, not as much sun. It's the winter, man. It's just how it's going to work. You want the storms to roll through. Red has lots of super sweet beginner trains. They got the T-bar and the silver load chair, which are great places to kind of learn to link your turns and get going on some of those basic green runs. Um, if you've got your turning figured out and you're like an above average, you know, beginner, you're not fresh on the chairlift, um, the Gray Mountain chair, the Topping Creek and the Paradise chair are all good spots to find some like decent greens and blue that you can ski on. So lots of exploring for skiers of all different levels. When I was at Red, I didn't spend too much time carving because it was absolutely nuking. And to be honest, I couldn't even see any of the groomed runs because they were covered with like a foot and a half of snow. But from what I've heard, there's some decent carving spots. I know on the Red side, they host a big race every year. So I think they've got some good groomers off the Red chair. And then I also think on the Gray Mountain chair, there's also um, some sweet groomers at the bottom and the topping chair. Uh, there's some some groom skis uh, as well. So can't give you the huge lowdown on the groom runs there, but uh, but they're there and, and they're mixed and they're varied. So definitely a good time for someone who wants to keep it on the corduroy. Red has some of the most exciting, um, creative and pillow filled, differentiated creative terrain that I've ever had the pleasure of shredding down in POW. The mother load chair is like the central POW skiing chair in the mountain. And when we got there for a POW day, we quickly ripped up the silver load and it was like a race down to be the first uh, on the mother load chair. You could spend like an entire season on the mom chair scouting out stashes and new lines and slots um, that you absolutely love. Cool thing, unlike other mountains, on the mother load chair, you can ski off in any direction and get back down to the bottom. So it's like a 360 ski off. So you don't have to, to pick a side to ski. Um, so that's, that's super fun. Every edge takes you back down to the base of the mountain. Extreme terrain, um, Red's got some serious uh, uh, serious butt clench style terrain. There's some shoots that are pretty freaky, some cliffs that are freaky, and, and you can get yourself, uh, you know, dialed up to 12 out of 10 um, on, on some of the routes on the mountain. Those two spaces you can find are like the shoots on the, the Gray Mountain side or the back side of Granite Mountains or the back side of the Mum Chair. Um, those are the spots where you can kind of find some of the gnarliest slots without going, you know, out of the bounds um, of the resort. But there's lots of extreme stuff to play on, like even though it's not like as readily obvious as like staring up at the peak chair at coffee. There's lots of like cool slots and like sketchy skiing uh, to be done at Red Mountain, which is which is super fun if you're trying to clean that together. I only have one single regret for my time skiing at Red, and that wasn't spending enough days there. 
I shouldn't really be telling you this because it reduces my chances of winning, but Red has blessed us with an opportunity to win the ultimate ski trip. Oh yeah, dude! You and your luckiest friend will have the chance to win four nights of accommodation up at Red at the Josie Hotel, which is Ski and Ski Out, and one of those nights at a mid-mountain cabin. Red is also including three days of lift tickets, yeah, baby. four cat skiing vouchers, and $50 to the Rafters Pub. If you want 360 degree snorkel descents this winter, you can enter to win on the Red website. There's no silver linings, there's no red tape, there's just one extremely complicated mathematics question, um, which you guys could help me out with in the comments. <laughs> Please, like, actually help me with, with the mathematics question. I, I, I can't figure it out. I don't ask you guys for much on this channel, but here's two things I'm gonna ask. One, click the link and sign up and try and win. And two, if you do win, bring me. Oh yeah, dude. The glades at Red Mountain are absolutely um, unbelievable. Like all interior tree skiing, the spacing's um, really good and puts, you know, South Coast Whistler to absolute shame. Snow is great, spacing is great, and it's like perfectly placed. You can get in such a good rhythm and, and feel just limitless turning um, through the trees and, uh, and down the mountain. So you already have a lot of acreage to explore, but now like with all these beautiful tree areas, it's just like even more to explore. It's impossible to get bored. So believe it or not, um, if it isn't a pouty, there actually is a Rockstar sponsored train park you can, uh, you can rip through at uh, Red. It's on the Red Mountain chair side and it's accessed by its like own t-bar which is sweet for doing quick laps and making fast progression so on a day where there isn't pow you can play around in the park and uh slide some rails you know practice your jumps and whatnot and, uh, and have a have a blast in there but the second the powder falls no one will be in the train park it was pretty deserted uh when we were there on a on a big pow day lift line so um everyone in rosslyn shreds so when the pow falls there are lift lines we did experience a pretty big lift line to load up the silver load to get to the mother load share on a big powder morning um but you know what nothing too insane and obviously we have like the highest patience as whistler skiers of all time when it comes to lift lines so lift lines do exist but once everyone kind of spreads across the mountain um, it feels a lot more open. So like when you're going downhill, you really don't ever feel like you see many people. The ski calculation of acres per skier is pretty damn good um, at, uh, at Red Mountain. The slack country makes red so sick. You can ski Mount Roberts and get back down to the bottom of the paradise chair. Lots of cliffs and pow to play on in there. And uh, you can also toss on your avi gear and go do Kirk up. Um, you can hike up Kirk up and ski to a bunch of different places or you can come back to the resort via like the cat ski route. Uh, and they charge 10 bucks for a cat ride up uh, Kirk up as well. So if that's something um, that, uh, that you're willing to, to shell over a few bucks for, it's probably the cheapest cat skiing um, technically in the entire country, but uh, you can also, you know, skin up that as well. Just make sure you got your avi gear and it's a, it's a fun thing. Family. Uh, Red is a great spot, I think, for families. Um, on almost all the chairs, there's like options for everyone to ski at all different skill levels. And it's just a good vibe, like fun people, nice people, everyone's looking out for each other, like not that kind of hardcore Whistler type intensity, like people are chilling and uh, it's just a fun, good vibe, um, good people. And I think a solid like family resort um, to ski at. So at Red, the views are like more rolling snow covered mountains. It's not as like crazy prominent sharp peaks like Gary a boldy or kicking horse it's like a little more chill like rolling type hills it's still gorgeous and you still feel like kind of remote and kind of out there but it's not as like insanely breathtaking as other views so like i wouldn't go up the mountain on a sightseeing tour but for skiing absolutely epic red is super unique it's its own thing um it's not owned by like a big corporate monopoly um it's a true mountain it's 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 true like ski town heart you know you get on that chair you can just feel the love everyone has for skiing and has for everyone else and there's so much powder terrain to ski there it's ridiculous like just so creative uh, i'd love to do a full season at red and really get dialed with like the mountain itself and the backcountry and catch a couple of those big storm days it would be so unbelievably Juicy, but uh, life keeps me in Vancouver, so maybe one day I can make the powder pilgrimage 
to red, but we'll see how it goes. Red has to be on your powder highway hit list. I think it's definitely uh, definitely up there on the top of the list. Let me know in the comments what you think about red, if you've skied it, what some of your favorite runs were. Um, I'd love to hear it. If you want to watch a video of me skiing red in some of those slack country spots, check it out right here. Skied it last year. Like I said, one of the best ski days of my entire season. Well, that's it. Oh, the hot sauce is down. Stay spicy. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. I'm 35 with a top down. Quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody want to be the boss, but it costs and these lames ain't shit.